All right, let's get rolling, Antonio. Been a while since we've done a game here, man. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, we good. started uh, live streaming probably three or four years ago, and uh, we started our YouTube channel last year. We've been making thumbnails for our YouTube channel. We've been editing videos, making highlights of all the different games. I get my students to come up and volunteer. Uh, you know, like tonight, I've got a student that's commentating with me. I got a student running my virtual scoreboard, and I got a student uh, switching between the two camera views. Uh, going back and forth. So we did football, basketball, swim, wrestling, uh, almost volleyball, everything that you can imagine. We've been trying to live stream as much as we can. So my primary job recently has been uh, moving the cameras back and forth and just kind of regulating that. But off camera, when we're not streaming, I edit videos, I make highlights. Um, last year we used to do like a little news type show and we just kind of run that in our classrooms. I do the play-by-play -play with Coach Kelly. Uh, we just say the players' names, how many points they got, how many fouls and free throws. I was in Coach Kelly's animation class. He was like, hey, um, I'm doing basketball games, announcing, anybody wants to um, help me, they can. Actually, I want to be a sports announcer. So I was like, hey, can, I'll do it for the whole season. And then first game, I was like, eh. Then towards, towards like the rest of the season, I started getting better. So it's been a lot of fun, really. Uh, me and Antonio uh, Rankin, he, he's been an excellent guy that's come in and helped a lot. Uh, he really likes to talk basketball, and so we're just talking the game and you know, keeping track and keeping stats. We have clipboards that we write down our stats and who's keeping how many points they got and stuff like that for, for those games. Same thing with, with swimming. I was announcing who was uh, finishing, who was diving in, what the time was, all those things, and give a result just to make it more interesting for people watching. Three-point lead now for the Falcons. See, they're going to let uh, Palmer stay out there all day long until he sinks one. Ooh. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> hey, they, they were daring Palmer to shoot that, and I didn't think he would do it. But, man, that's a heck of a shot right there for Palmer. So our setup is uh, we have two different cameras set up, uh, and so we have a TriCaster, which is basically a, a TV, TV production studio, a small TV production studio that we can hook up uh, and go from two different views. I can have videos um, programmed into that. I could play commercials if I wanted to. We have um, a, a scoreboard on another computer that I'm, I'm, I'm networking into it to the TriCaster and then also our, our audio that allows us to communicate. We have two headsets that are going into the TriCaster and we can talk back and forth and all that stuff is going out through our, our TriCaster uh, system. I think students get out of this an opportunity to see, hey, this is a this could be a, this is a real job. There's not just people that are talking on TV that you see. There's so many more people behind the scenes. I get a lot of sense of accomplishments and also just uh, life experience in um, in film work and camera working. You need to apply this, put good thing, put it on your resume. I just really like being able to capture. What, uh, what I see as a fan, as an audience member, to the world. Because of COVID and stuff, we're just not allowing kids to, or parents to come and watch their, their, their players. And with the live stream, that gives them an opportunity to come and watch the game. Now we're starting to bring in, you know, two people that can come watch them. Uh, but, but I hear all the time from parents, you don't know how much my grandma and grandpa want to come to the game, but they can't. I've been teaching here for a long, long time, and this is, you know, the last, this year has been really hectic and busy for me, but it's been really rewarding because I've heard so many comments from people saying how, how awesome it is for, for me and, and my students to do this here at Heights High School for our live streaming and our YouTube channel. It's just been a lot of fun. Good win for Coach Al and his 400th win, but that is the final, Heights 47, East 39. Antonio, you want to say it? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video and we'll be back on friday friday night all right guys thanks a lot we'll we'll catch you next time